say thank you to everyone that has shown the support and the, the issues that we're dealing with in today, society. This is two, 2020. I've gone through marching in the, six, the late 60s and <laughs> early 70s. And I just want to state to you that all the involvement that I have been in with social issues, um, things haven't changed. It hasn't changed like it should be. And one of the issues that I still am fighting about is the system taking away our children. I can't understand why we aren't strong enough to tear down the system that takes our children away. It's another form of slavery. The issues that, that, that people keep coming up with, especially dealing with black men as fathers, is such a misnomer. When black men are fighting for their children, they are still not recognized. And our society needs to, to come together for our black families. Black families matters. <laughs> it was an African proverb that says, it takes a village to raise a child. And we have been, we have been put in a situation that we can't raise our children because this society says we are not capable. We're capable of taking care of the white men's child and, and raise them from the time of slavery, from the time they stole us and brought us to this country. We did not have no rights to our own children. They split us up and they're still splitting us up. And the thing that makes it so bad is that there are families that are still trying to fight for the children that have been taken away for no real reason. And we need to make sure that this is not gonna continue. Not only with black children, but the Hispanic children that's in cages, indigenous children who have been taken, who were taken away from their, from their country, the Native American children who have been divided and put in orphanage and are still not given what they should be given in their own land. system needs an investigation on why there are so many black children taken away. Africans who come from, come here to this, this state wind up losing their children so often. So many of them have lost children to the system. And this, like I said, is just another way of, to me, of a genocide and a slave state when they come to not just a state all over and we need to we need to fight to get our children back black men are fighting to get their children and to be recognized black mothers are fighting to get their children back and be recognized black grandparents have been fighting to get their children back and I'm not going to stop fighting for the system to stop taking our rights away from our own. We're not going to stop fighting. hoping that we will be able to meet with the system, those that's in 
control of DCF and get on board with having them look into what's going on with, our, with the black families. They, they do not support us when we do try to take in our other children who are of children of color. They prefer to say, you don't, you're not equipped. You don't have the income. You have a disability. You have all these things that when it comes to a white person that's not even related, that child will go to that person, that family, instead of our family. They won't reach out to see who is available, whether it's through the people in the church, in the community, they will block us every time. And this has to end, and it will end, with all of us fighting for our family. So black families matter.